Well, I uh, grew up watching my brother play baseball. He's four years older than me, and uh, he played uh, – I, when I was eight years old, I started, but before that, I just kind of watched him, was always at the ballpark, and uh, I played in a competitive league in Columbia called BC Baseball, and uh, I played there until I was about 16, and then I started high school ball and played four years at my high school, and now I'm from here. Tons of work leads up to uh, the game, both on the field and off the field. Um, I know we, we're out here every day for two to three hours working on stuff. Uh, as a pitcher, I got to work on locating my pitches and just uh, working on everything each day to stay sharp. And then off the field, we're, we're lifting two to three times a week, so we're real busy with that. And then you got to keep your grades up, so uh, studying is a big deal too. Well, at times, uh, juggling both baseball and school is pretty tough. Um, I know uh, as, you, as you get older, the classes get, seem to get harder. And, uh, in the spring, it's really tough because you got to um, stay focused on the school part to stay eligible and everything. And with homework and we're always on the road, it, it's, it gets tough, but uh, I've learned to manage it and, and do the best I can both on and off the field. Uh, as a pitcher, um, practice differs a little bit because uh, I mean, we can't be busy all the time. We can't throw for a whole three hours every day. So we'll get our throwing in usually before practice and, and kind of work on our stuff before practice. and then. We do uh, like defensive drills with the team, but uh, once uh, if it's not your day to pitch when you're scrimmaging, then uh, you kind of just sit around, watch the game, try to help other pitchers out and watch them pitch and uh, just kind of help each other out. And, and, and with position players, they're busy for the whole three hours. They don't get any breaks. So. Well, I know uh, mentally you got to be locked in every single day, whether you're pitching that day or not pitching that day. There's always something to work on, so you got to be focused. you got to be ready to go when you show up at the ball field, and Coach always preaches to stay focused and be ready. So um, as, a, as a starter, you, uh, you know you're only pitching once a week, but you still always have something to work on when you show up to the field, whereas a reliever, they got to stay focused every single day because they don't ever know when they're going to go in the game or when they're going to be pitching. So Over the last four years, I've... Uh, really bonded with all the coaches. I mean, I've got to know Coach Myers and Coach Murray really well because I've, they've been here from my freshman year on. So uh, I got to know them really well. And Coach Ealing just came two years ago. So I'm still still learning from him and everything, but uh, our relationship's really good. And then uh, we work with Scott Riller. He's also our pitching coach. We work with him a lot, and I uh, played with him for two years. So, so we kind of know each other kind of on the same level, and he can work with me uh, quite a bit. So. Nice. Throwing in. Uh, well, I just had to clean myself here, off so, uh, from getting pied in the face, but uh, my well. relationship with uh, my teammates is really good. We we seem to bond uh, really well on and off the field. We seems like no matter what we're doing, we're always together, and uh, I think that really helps with team chemistry and uh, helps us win games because if you don't get along with your teammates, then you're not going to get along out there on the field. So I think uh, it really helps that uh, we have good team chemistry. I think uh, you really get acclimated when you're out of school for four years. You really know the coaching style that Coach Myers has and uh, also Coach Murray. And uh, I think uh, you just kind of get in the routine of what you're going to do each year. You know coming in to school how hard you're going to have to work to, to step on the field because you know you got guys coming in. And I think you're not really put behind if you come from a two-year school, but uh, you, you don't really know what's going to come in the fall when you uh, show up. Uh, being familiar with your teammates is, and coaches is is really good deal because, uh, you, I mean, you have to know uh, you got to know the players you're playing with. You got to know what they're gonna what they're thinking on certain certain plays. And uh, I think being more familiar with a player, you can help them out more. You can criticize uh, and then tell them when they're doing a good job too. So I think I think it really helps to be familiar with the players you're playing with and everything. Oh, well, uh, I got a lot of goals for this season for my senior year. So. Uh, well, the ultimate goal I have is winning a national championship. I've been to the World Series, had the chance to go to the World Series twice, and uh, really we, we came up short both times. And I really just want to win a national championship this year, but uh, also just want to have a good year, uh, help my team win the best I can, and just uh, go as far as we can. People always ask how, like, what it's like playing for the Mules, and uh, and like they, because a lot of t a lot of people around the area know that we are usually a pretty good baseball team, but uh, the most fond memory I have is my freshman year at the World Series when we were uh, we were down in the ninth inning, going into the ninth inning by five runs, and we came back and won in uh, Sauge, and uh, it was just like one of the best experiences I've ever had as a baseball player, 
coming back and winning that game and uh, moving on in the World Series, it was a really cool experience.